Hello there, this is Juan Carlos Gonzalez, an Office Apps and Services MVP. First of all, I hope all of you are okay. And now let me introduce the topic, the topic for today's video. In today's video, I'm going to talk about how as users in SharePoint Online, we can configure emails, notifications sent by the service when we are working with news. So shall we start? Let's go. So here I am in my Office 365 demo environment. And first thing I had to do is just to go to the SharePoint Online homepage. To do that, I had to click on the SharePoint shortcut in the plancher. And then immediately I'm going to access the SharePoint Online homepage. Over here, as you know, you are going to see news coming from your sites, your frequent sites, and so on. But that's not the important thing today. If you want to configure the notifications as user that uh, are sent by SharePoint by, by email, what you have to do is to click on the settings, cogwheel, and then click on email notification settings. Then you are going to see a side panel where you have different settings that you can configure. As you can see here, we have a total of four settings and all of them are related to comments or to notifications related to news. So you can enable or disable comments. Uh, sorry, you can enable or disable notifications sent when there are comments on your pages. Same happens uh, with replies to your comments likes on your pages and last but not least you can enable or disable the reception of the digest of news posts you have missed and that's all you can configure as user in regards of email notifications sent by SharePoint Online and that's all what I have for today so I hope you have found this video useful very very quick video very very short video but I I hope you have enjoyed it and you like it um, uh, by the way, it's important to know this tip about how as an end user, I can yes, uh, decide what to do in regards of email notifications in SharePoint Online. And that's all for today, as I was saying. So uh, please stay safe, take care, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can stay up to date with any new content I produce around Microsoft 365, SharePoint Online, or Microsoft Teams. Bye-bye, and see you.